Hey guys, welcome back for more Batman The Telltale Series. So we're gonna continue and do episode 2 today. So come on, let's go. Episode 2, Children of Arkham. Hmm. Previously on Batman The Telltale Series. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. <laughs> Bye, Bat. <laughs> this is Selena. I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played here, including you. Where's the money? It's the Waynes. <laughs> well, the Waynes. Are the biggest gangsters in Gotham? <laughs> Alfred. Okay, let's see. So, when it ended last time, Bruce was really angry with Alfred, right? So, let's see what his answer is. Oh, he went back to the alleyway. You don't have to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. Prime Alley. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me, all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I... I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. Okay. My money has never corrupted me. And I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. They worked together. Working with Falcone and Hill. I expected a regular accounting not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but 
This was his undoing. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. We're still family, of course. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. Hmm. He got careless. Criminals always do. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Oh, we got a check? Okay, search the alley to remember the past. Side alley. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I take him to jail. Just like any other criminal. But he's not just any criminal, is he? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Okay, what is this? Graffiti. He just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave, just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. The theater. I love that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. But do I really want to know? Move. Someone ordered this for sure. Take whatever you want. Nothing personal, just business. They told me you had to come. You, you don't have to do this. Oh my god. 
in the eye. Assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Okay. I mean, it's pretty obvious, though. Like, someone sent uh, an assassin, of course. <laughs> what was that? But getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules. Oh, is this guy at. again from last time? Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. And I appreciate it. Look, I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Dent, Mr. Wayne, welcome to the GCPD. Thank you, Lieutenant. Now, ordinarily, we'd never let you in to see Falcone, but it must be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. Bend the rules whenever you need it. He's not in my pocket. Harvey's not in my pocket, Lieutenant. He always does what he thinks is right. Well, it's lucky your interests align. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thank you, Sergeant. Thanks, Sergeant. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but. He held back. He cares about doing the right thing. We're lucky to have him. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Episode two. Children of Arkham. The hell? Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every other time they tried to put me away. We need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth in you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. Tommy? More than friends. More like cousins. Until you hard chill. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? 
The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. But you, you showed me the door. We are not family, Falcone. I'm nothing like you. If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? What? Do I help him? If I help him, he could talk more, right? Yeah, let's help him. Maybe if I don't help him, he's gonna stop talking. Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Cause you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind murderer. of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Oh, your hell father no. may have been the doctor, but Martha... She had the human touch. Think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Don't talk about my mom. Don't you dare talk about my mother. And hey, why not, kid? I got nothing but good things to say about her. She was the only one that ever had a hold on your father. Until you hired an assassin to kill them both. What, you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. Oh, oh my God! They're waiting for you Dude. in hell. Okay, she's drugged. Look at her. Uh, what do you call this? The her bastard lips? had to die. Yeah, her lips look. Hands in the air. Stand down. Get Is a she... doctor. She's Secure dead. This floor. She's no dead already. Go. No! Yeah, he's dead. Oh my god. In the chest and in the head. He's dead. Jesus Christ. And we are in deep shit. Ah. <sighs> I bought us some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and we're investigating the, the usual we need the facts slow down harvey we need the facts first uh, the simple fact is she walked in and shot him then we need the complex facts like how and why lieutenant uh, uh, mr district attorney uh, falcone's lawyers are here oh christ i can delay them for a little while but we still need answers Tell me if she says anything. 
I have to know why she did this. I mean, she's <sighs> drugged. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Okay, she was shot in the neck or something. A fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. The mouth. Her veins. Still visible beneath her skin. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. What do you remember? Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talked big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was going to get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. Did you see anyone? why I should have. They were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I, I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Hmm. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, I, I, I don't worry about that now. I found needle marks. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind oh, us. Vicky. Bruce! Wh what are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some I'm kind of rush. lockdown? I I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? Hmm. I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Always digging for a story, huh? So it's true? I didn't say that. Listen, I owe you for those files on Falcone. I got a lot of credit at the Gazette for that story. Whatever's going on here, you can't afford to be associated with it. Let me help you. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can I can't tell, tell by the way the you're brushing right off that something happened. I don't Just have time for this. Give me something to run with. This is different. Yeah, not now, not now. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Huh. Disappointing. Yeah, they're gonna crucify Maybe Montoya if I say it. I thought. And she was drugged.
Uh, I can't say anything. <laughs> I just say, ah, oh, the sergeant did it. And he's gonna run it? No, no, no. It's different this time. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found in the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. He got it easy, though. Falcone got off easy by getting killed. He deserved much worse. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. He said we were what did family. You learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Maybe it was Hill? Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Hmm. Montoya sample, doc sample. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you... You could create chaos. <sighs> With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses, the things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Okay, where is he? Hmm, okay, this one? Oh, I can move it. There, there. This one? What? Oh, it's getting stronger here. Let's use the other one. Hmm. On the other side. Bring me her head. Drone. Go. Right. Okay. Oh, there. <laughs> it was there in the middle. Okay, I was already clicking it. The Skyline Club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce. Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. The Bat. Why oh, is it fixed already? Isn't this where we are last time? Come on, come on. I know there's gotta be more around here. 
Oh, dude, what the hell is that? Grax? If Falcone finds out I helped you, he'll kill me. Your boss won't be doing much of anything. He got Drax with him. Okay, take take this guy out. You lot, come check out this office. Where is I don't know! Please call my names. You can help me. Let him go. Batman! It's about time. You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. I said let him go. You hear that, Roland? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, Roland. now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pulp on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. And did it. Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. I don't Believe kill. Me, I know. I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time to reconsider. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. You're not the you're the real rot here. I'm gonna say Bruce isn't involved. Oswald no. Cobblepot. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? Gotta admit, you've got flair. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or what's her name again? Selena. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, they know. <laughs> Selena Kyle. <laughs> oh, he's very strong. They left already. <laughs> Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. Okay, we're going to help Catwoman now. <laughs> I need to talk to you urgently. How can you even track her anyways? Like, it's so easy. <laughs> Isn't she supposed to be, like, super good at hiding? Hello, oh, fellas. You really think he'd show up here? Bartender. Did you hear? You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Flash some cash. No, no, no. I'm looking for some. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a woman. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. Selena Kyle. I'm told she practically lives here. 
Selena, huh? You don't strike me as her type. Her you mouth is not even moving. Hey. <laughs> don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. Cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, Frank. Yeah. Funny seeing you here. So much in the papers. Whole other thing, meeting the man in real life. You're uh, shorter than I thought you would be. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. Selena. You didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. <sighs> Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Hmm. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The penguin. <laughs> we'll do this penguin together. can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. Yeah, we grew up together. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? Revolution. He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. I need your help. I need you, Selena. That right? If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. He doesn't need to know. Keep Harvey out of this. The less he knows, the safer he'll be. I'm sure his safety is your paramount concern. You and I... They're here, penguins, man. Hey, what's this guy again? With the sunglasses. At night. Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Hello? Hello? Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. You should leave. She's with me. I think you need to leave. Not done yet. 
They want more. Then let's give it to them. Yeah, the quick time events in this game is so nice. It's so fluid. You fight pretty good. So fast. For such a pretty boy. Wait, what? Check pockets. Come on, this way. I can kiss her. Uh, okay. Let's oh. get out of here. Hell no, I should back the way. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Uh, will I see you again? When will I see you again? <sighs> when you least expect it. You shouldn't trust me, you know. <laughs> Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Uh, processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here, all from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Hmm. It was him. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. Hill is setting me up. Penguin's gonna take a shot at me. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Okay, so I I think I'll just go with Bruce, yeah. If I go with Batman, it's gonna look different, honestly. People will say, oh, I'm terrorizing the mayor. Threatening him, scaring him, right? So let's just go as Bruce. Going as Bruce is the smart choice. Much better. Okay, they haven't fixed it yet. <laughs> I mean, it's been just a couple of days, I think, right? Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. Won't you help me out? Well, I was really hoping you'd be able to help me out. 
Who knows, maybe I could return the favor one day. It seems you do have an appointment, Mr. Wayne. Silly me. Easy. Very easy as Bruce, Bruce Wayne. Wayne. Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see you. But you're a day late and a great many dollars short. This isn't a social call, Hill. I'm here for answers. Well, well. Straight to business. And I was going to have Deborah make you a martini. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A young man like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So, what's your point? I take it you have one. Why attack me? Or are you me? just fond of my dulcet tones? Why attack me? Because of Dent and the campaign? Please, I have no animosity towards you. I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. He's dangerous. Even if that's true, it's no excuse for Cobblepot's crimes. I quite agree. It doesn't hurt to understand your enemy's motives. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Hmm. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping friends. No, I can't. Friend. I can't see. I can't do that. No, no, no. I can't uh, betray Harvey. Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. We'll find a not way. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things, and I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne, and you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. Mm. Oh. I would never stoop so low. My backbone doesn't have the bend. Let me put it this way. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. Stay away from the debate. Stay away from the debate. It's not safe. <laughs> Miss my chance to humiliate Dent. It'll take more than Cobblepot to keep me away. I, mean, I can't betray Harvey just like that. Even though we know what's gonna happen to him, if Harvey Dent is in a movie, in a show, or whatever, you know what'll happen Alfred, to him, right? Get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase but security. But right now, the no. Hill you can't seems do that to think right he's now. safe, but Penguin's still out there. He's still a homie. Still. <laughs> I wonder what else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's what a plan that? of the old Monarch Theater. 
The auditorium Blueprints. where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn it so was much in so little time. To hear their crimes detailed, first by a Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And the city needs you, now more than ever. I'll, uh, leave you to it then. Gotham, Gotham Fiend Codex. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. Harvey needs to get out of there. Lucius hey, Fox. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something don't, that's... Don't go through the well, debate. It's not exactly pleasant. Harvey, listen to me. Stay away from the debate. What? No, Bruce, I I'm already here. Kind of crazy. Security's on high alert because of this threat from some guy named Penguin. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of kill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. There. I, I get it, it's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we all know the truth about our friendship. You got something. No, that doesn't matter now. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Yes. Whatever it takes to of save course. Gotham. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. It to Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Put on my uh, no face. No matter what I have to say tonight, remember. You are always my friend. He's gonna put on his face. Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. I'm glad I took a chance on this... this collaboration of ours. Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. A hero. I hope so. Hero is a lofty title. I hope I live up to it. Could be tonight's the night to prove it. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that, that holstered woman. if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? We're on the same side. You're gonna side. drag out that dead horse? 
We're all on the same side, Jim. Uh, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Yes? Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing? Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much into it. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha! Do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. <laughs> Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate on the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rising crime rates, income inequality, yes, a massive vigilante loose on our streets. Easy. Oh, everyone. Oh, my God. Cops are dead At again. Least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Sorry, ladies and gents, as you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. Oh my God! I hate this to be a game down, is super violent. I don't like their chances. Um, they just didn't have a head for the issues. Casualties are inevitable. It's only a question of how many. Inspiring. You really know how to pep a girl up. <laughs> this is the wrong answer. Oh my You'll God. do. Get out here. Vicky. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Thank you for volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right, I'll get you started, but this is your show. Three hostiles. Got to take them out quietly. Camera stand, hit him. Bird. Bad mask guy. Light stand? Then kick this guy in the door, I think. What is this, table? No, 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 uh... Oh no no one is still alive. 
Maybe next time. <gasps> Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My Calcom brothers and sisters of Calcom, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. Oh, we actually, are here to end children the of Arkham. And expose the corruption that's moving your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. This is spiraling out of control. They have no idea about the man behind the mask. Whoever it is, they're smart. Let someone else get their hands dirty. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Go on, love. You know what to do. Ah! Candidates, take off your masks. Oh. Show Gotham your true selves. Tell them what you really think about the city you pretend to love. Everybody in Gotham saw that moderator get shot on live TV. What's going on in there? First off, we should incinerate the poor. Oh, oh my god, incinerate the poor? Jeez. Wayne, that, oh. that, that, that was all him. He didn't know when to stop. I had him killed because of it. They won't bring back my poor old mum. So this is for her. You won't let you kill anyone else. 
Oh my Where's your mate, Bruce Wayne? Your biggest supporter, and he didn't yes. even turn up. <laughs> <laughs> Batman! The revolution's already started! It's too late to join! It's over. Your revolution is over, Penguin. On the contrary, we're just getting started! Oh, hell no. <sighs> Oh no, do I... What do I choose? Oh no, I don't know. Harvey or Selena? Oh. Uh, Selena? Oh my god, Selena. I'm sorry, Harvey. Oh, you killed one. Oh my god, Bruce killed the first one. No! Hold your fire, damn it! Oh no! Harvey. Where's the maniac in the mask? We need paramedics over here now. Come on, man. Let's see what people check. Let's see what people City chose. City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. He won't be the same after this. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. I wonder who that is. Okay, let's see. East Falcone, Spain. Okay, 70% did that. Okay, 78% tried to do it. I mean, that was normal. Mary Hill is Bruce Wayne. That is common sense. Yes, continued. 91%. Okay. 62% saved Selena. So pretty much we're the same as everyone else. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Next time on Batman The Telltale Series. Next time on Batman The Telltale Series. You may have saved me, but this isn't over. You don't know these people, Bruce. Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, who's next? Bruce. 
After that, news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham. Sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? You know what I want. No more hiding, but for anyone. But don't worry. Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming to him. Bruce! Bruce! Okay. Rebirth. Yeah, it was DC Universe Rebirth when this was, uh... When this one started, I mean. Okay. So, yeah. We found out that we have new enemies. Two... Basically, two big characters died in this episode, right? <laughs> Mayor Hill and Falcone died. So, next episode, or next part, I mean, we're gonna do episode three. So, I'll just see you then, guys. Bye-bye.